The Phantom of the Opera is a novel by French writer Gaston Leroux. It was first published as a serialization in September 1909. It was published in volume form in late March 1910. The novel is partly inspired by historical events at the Paris Opera during the 19th century, and an apocryphal tale concerning the use of a former ballet pupil's skeleton in Karl Maria von Weber's 1841 production of Der Freischutz. It has been successfully adapted into various stage and film adaptations, most notably of which are the 1925 film depiction featuring Lon Chaney and Andrew Lloyd Webber's 1986 musical. The setting of The Phantom of the Opera came from an actual Paris opera house that Leroux had heard the rumors about from the time the opera house was finished. The details about the Palais Garnier and rumors surrounding it are closely linked in Leroux's writing. The underground lake that he wrote about is accurate to this opera house, and it is still used for training firefighters to practice swimming in the dark. The infamous chandelier crash also rang to be true. On the 20th of May, 1896, the seven-ton bronze and crystal chandelier's counterweights broke free and burst through the ceiling into the auditorium, killing a concierge. The mysteries that Leroux uses in his novel about the Phantom are still mysteries. However, he defended the rumors to be true even on his deathbed. The Phantom of the Opera's origins came from Leroux's curiosity with the Phantom being real. In the prologue, he tells the readers about the Phantom and the research that he did to prove the truth of the ghost. His findings connected the corpse from the Opera House to the Persian Phantom himself. The Phantom of the Opera is also a pinball machine released by Data East in 1990. The game is based on the French novel The Phantom of the Opera, but not based on the musical by Andrew Lloyd Webber, although released around the same time. It also has nothing to do with the Robert England movie of the same name released in 1989 by Columbia Pictures. The game does not have very deep rules. Game rules are similar to other 1980s pinball machines. There are no modes to complete. The goal of the game is to try and score as much as possible. Gameplay features include the catwalk ramp, a magic mirror, a trap door, and an organ that opens for multiball. The Phantom can be unmasked to reveal his true face on the back glass. The art, music, and light show give the pinball machine its fitting atmosphere. The music uses Data East's stereo system. The daughter of the pinball machine's art designer, Paul Ferris, was the model for the character Christine Daae on the back glass. And the artwork is what really brings us here. Paul Ferris did an incredible job designing the artwork of this machine and incorporated many, many features from the book into the artwork on the playfield. A cast full of characters featuring Eric, the Phantom of the Opera, a deformed conjurer also referred to as the Angel of Music and the Opera Ghost. He tutors and eventually becomes obsessed with Christine Daae. Christine Daae, a young Swedish soprano at the Paris Opera House with whom the Phantom falls in love. Vicomte Raoul de Chagny, Christine's childhood friend and love interest. The Persian, a mysterious man from Eric's past. Armand Moncharmin and Fermin Richard the new managers of the Opera House, Madame Geary, the Opera Box's keeper, and Carlotta, a spoiled prima donna, the lead soprano of the Paris Opera House until Christine shows up. The machine was designed by Ed Sebula and Joe Kamenkow, both industry legends. Kamenkow and Sebula created mini games together, including Robocop, Back to the Future, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and a bunch of other games individually for many companies. Paul Ferris, the art designer, also did the art for Back to the Future, and a pile of other games, including Evil Knievel, 8-Ball, Playboy, Paragon, Xenon, and Centaur. The Phantom of the Opera is available as a licensed table in the Pinball Arcade and Stern Pinball Arcade. Data East logos are removed due to licensing issues, but you can still play the game today on your PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, PC or a billion other ways to play it if you can't find the real machine out in the wild. Or come over to my house, there's one in the basement right now, and it's glorious. Enjoy the trailer for the Farside Studios version, Pinball Arcade, The Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> 